Hi, in lesson seven, we considered as separate systems the um, exterior walls on each floor. So the, there are the exterior walls on floor one. And if, let's go to uh, face style x ray so you can see through them, give you the context. So you can see if I click on this element, the, the interior, the profile of the interior walls are uh, a separate entity from this profile of the exterior walls. We also, there's the underlay for the CAD drawing on level one. There's the underlay for the CAD drawing on level two placed at the appropriate elevation. Um, we have yet to now model separately the interior walls on level two, which we do first. Uh, the exterior walls on level two, or level two, which we will model first, and then the interior walls on level two. So let's turn off everything, the visibility of everything else, so it doesn't interfere with our modeling there's um, cat underlay for level two go to the top view remember from oh maybe we did model the exterior walls for floor two ah we did okay so we don't need to model those now we're going to proceed to the interior walls for level two top view I'm assuming a degree of uh, drawing, uh, reading literacy on the part of my viewer. If there are things that I am with, refer to that you don't understand, ask. I'm, I'm outlining the profiles of all the interior wall elements. So I'm drawing from interior wall to interior wall. There's a thicker plumbing wall uh, behind. Oh, I shouldn't have drawn to there, right? So let me do that again. That is Um, the exterior walls are modeled, have already been modeled. So we want to snap, we want to stop to the point where that interior wall would intersect the exterior wall. So that's as far as that would go. There's a wall behind the closet. The outline of the elevator including that little dimple outline of the elevator continued um, I'm going to leave out this segment of wall that goes from the elevator to the uh, beginning of the stairs here because that wall is going to be a different height You'll see when I extrude these to their proper heights in a minute why we need to do that separately. So that just about, so we've outlined the profile of the walls on level two. Let's go to an isometric mode. Remember, keep, when you're drawing, when you're modeling to size, you don't want your camera in perspective mode because you, it's easier to draw when the, you don't introduce the uh, distortion of perspective in, in your drawing and everything gets, all the axes get an equal weight. I'm going to turn off visibility of the CAD underlay and clean up lines here. This is more 
typically done with the erase tool. So let's do that rather than select and erase. So these all appear as one continuous system. I did not save this out as lesson seven, but I will do so uh, here in lesson eight. Um, okay. What I said uh, before that I'm going to, um, before I extrude these, these are an exception to the floor-to-floor -floor height. They don't go all the way to the underside of the roof. So we're going to have to examine. There's a CAD underlay. Let's look at a, a sectional view, a section drawing. I'm going to tell you what you're looking at here. There's a profile of a long, long section of the model. You can see there's a space between the ceiling and the underside of the roof. So, the elevator would probably be an exception to that, but I'm going to treat them all the same way. Let's turn off the visibility of the Second floor drawing. I'm now extruding the outline of the elevator. Hold on the shift key and say we're going to stop there. The inference point there is the underside of weight of the ceiling plane. I'm assuming you, you're looking at this drawing, you can tell that that's the ceiling plane. I'm going to do the same for. these walls. Now I could just as easily turn off my long section drawing and simply match the height of the walls. Oops. Of the walls of the elevator because that's, that's the same height. You can see the distance um, in the measure box in the right lower right corner is 8-4, which is correct, right? The, to the underside of the roof was 9-4, and we're allowing uh, 12 inches for the ceiling and a little space between the ceiling and the roof. Uh, we're not quite done. Let's triple click each of these, make that a group, make that a group, and we're missing one wall which is going to be um, lower in height. Let's make sure we have a layer to put these on uh, walls. Floor two, simply adding the one walls. Floor interior, floor two, floor two ceiling. To be explicit, it's a little more verbose than I, than normally. So I'm going to select both these groups and put them on that layer. Turn back on the CAD underlay for floor 2. And notice we have a wall here. Um, who, who's um, height is only going to be three six or it's to keep um, folks from falling into that stairwell so let's create the outline
pull it, uh, push it to um, 42 inches, 3 6. Triple click, make it a group. Create a layer. Walls. Interior. Go to half height. There are a hundred ways to name things, but um, I'm using these verbose names just to, for for the sake of clarity. And place that group I just created to uh, walls interior for to half height. And if there were any more walls like that, which there might be, for example, if that tub were not enclosed. Uh, by interior walls. We are missing a wall behind the tub, which we should, should have been part of this group. So I'm going to do a little bit of editing here. That, uh, this profile It's not picked up. Okay, we'll do that separately. Let's close that group. Okay, let's see what we've uh, finished so far. Walls exterior floor two. Walls exterior floor one. Walls interior floor one. We turn off the CAD. Underlay the model looks very much as it did before. Let's turn off. Let's turn on all the rest of the stuff that we've modeled. Foundation slab. A plane for the site. The ceiling of level two, notice that sits on top of the walls for level two and leaves a little bit of space between the ceiling and the roof. And when we uh, turn on visibility of the roof, you see the rest of this. And the only thing left were the um, outside ramps and platforms that lead into the house. So we need a door here, a garage door there, and that's where we're at at the end of lesson eight.